Welcome to PSM for Fort Solution Math. I am your tutor Sumanth Pia. Today we are going to learn the introduction to trigonometry, exercise 11.2 for state syllabus and for CBS it is 8.2 exercise. In that we are going to learn the third question. If tan a plus b is equal to root 3 and tan a minus b is equal to 1 by root 3 and this a plus b value is greater than 0 it seems and lesser or equals to the higher one, lesser or equals to 90 degree. So a greater than b find the a and b value so it is like a linear equation so why it is a linear equation because here we have two variables a and b so the, we have to find the a and b so it is look like a linear equation but they have given a touch of a trigonometry because that is tan a plus b the high units tan is a function it is a trigonometry function and a plus b and here we have tan of the function but a minus b so it is combination of trigonometry along with the linear equation so how to solve this problem so let us solve this the first thing when you are doing the solution for this so solution the first thing is we will take the what they have given this is the first and this is the second one and before that i will tell you this one why they have given is always we are finding the trigonometry function what we are going to find now always the angle will be between the 0 and the 90 degree or it may be equals to 0 and equals to 90 but the angle will not be more than uh, 90 or less than 0 so this have to be remembered and obviously here they have not only one angle they have an a plus b so that you have to remember and one more important thing is a is always greater than b they have given yes? when you will do this that's a minus b value when you will do if a value is greater for example if a is 60 degree and the b is 30 degree obviously 60 minus 30 that is a minus b if you will do you must get a positive value only if b is greater what will happen if b you are taking as a 90 degree and the a you are taking as 60 degree so if you are doing a minus b so a minus b if you will do that is 60 minus 90 so it will become a minus 30 so we have to see what why they have given is for our understanding purpose that is this angle what we are going to find that will be in between 0 and 90 that's all and don't bother about this okay it will not make any big problem for us we have to only one have to find that is a and b that's all so let us write it down this tan so tan a plus b value will become root 3 it seems and the tan a minus b value will become 1 by root 3 it seems so it is not a big problem so you know that tan 1 value is root 3 tan which angle value is root 3 if you know that you can solve this problem very easily so tan a plus b don't bother about a plus b you consider as a one angle so tan which angle e value will become the root 3 value if you see the table correctly it is 60 degree so tan 60 degree is root 3 value similarly if you will go for this the tan which angle don't bother a minus b let it be anything which angle value tan of function which angle value will be 1 by root 3 that you have to consider so obviously if you will see correctly the tan 30 degree value is 1 by root 3 so obviously here only we can find the answer so tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 and tan 60 degree is root 3 so first we will solve this so in proportion of tan we have tan okay there is no changes root 3 value root 3 so obviously the a plus b value what we are in that place we have 60 means these two must be equals to one another so here a plus b value is 60 that we have understood similarly we have 1 by root 3 1 by root the same and tan functions we have both the sides so obviously a minus b is nothing but 30 so a minus b value will become 30 so now it is acting as equation 1 and the equation 2 for us so now it is become a linear equation so now we can solve this linear equation very easily one thing you have to remember a plus b value is 60 now and a minus b value is 30 so depending on you which method you want to follow substitution elimination method or cross multiplication method whichever method you can want you can solve this or i will go for a simple method elimination method a plus b is equals to 60 we have and here we have a minus b that value is 30 degrees so subtract them both or directly add them both because both the side we have 
b value we can subtract means we can directly cancel them because if we we'll add together b is having plus and minus so b will get cancelled and and we have a plus a is 2a i am not subtracting i am adding it if you we'll subtract it a get cancelled b plus b is 2b it will be so 60 and 30 i have to add them so 2a is equal to 90 degree so obviously the a value will become 90 degree divided by 2 so obviously the answer will become a value is equal to 45 degree so we got that a value is 45 now we have to find the b value so substitute this a value in any one of this equation so i will substitute in a plus b that is equal to 60 degree we have so a value is 45 degree we got and the b value we don't know so we will find that b angle so b is equal to 60 degree this 45 degree what i have here that i will shift it to the other side it will be minus 45 so obviously 60 minus 45 is 15 so b value is 15 a value is 45 and this is our answer so i have told it is a combination of trigonometry function along with the linear equation and this is our answer find the a and b a value is 45 and b value is 15 i hope you have got this answer so anyone if you have a doubt you can write it in the comment section please like my like subscribe and share my channel so see you in my next video till then take care